following dramatization of the Baby M case is based on court transcripts, psychiatric evaluations, investigative reports, interviews, and published accounts. Certain scenes and dialogue are interpretive of this material. Can you see the light? Yes. How about now? No. And now? Yes. And now? No. I'm sorry. Have you had any other symptoms? Yes. to do something worthwhile in their lives. There are, are people who walk on the moon or, or discover a cure for some disease or get elected to Congress. I can't do any of those things. But I am a woman. And I'm healthy. And I can carry a baby. And that's never really seemed like much before, but right now it's as important as an IQ of 180. Ose shalom bim ramav huya se shalom malenu val kol Yisrael bimru amen. Death comes hardest not to the deceased but to the surviving, and hardest of all to the soul surviving. Although the death of your beloved mother William leaves you the sole surviving member of your family and of your family's family, you are not alone. You are a cherished member in the family of the Jewish people and in the family of man. give you one, Bill. Oh, God, how I wish I could. I always felt that my life wouldn't be complete without children. Now, I feel it more than ever. 
We'll have a family. We'll adopt or somehow. We'll find a way to have a family. Come on, Come on right here. Hi. No. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hi, Ryan. Tuesday, come on. Oh. Beverly got her period again. Oh, oh. No. Yeah, poor thing. I hear if you haven't had a kid after three years of trying, you can just kiss it goodbye. Mm. I can't imagine wanting something so much and then not being able to have it when everyone else can. You know? And it just makes you want it even worse. If I tell you guys something, you promise not to tell anybody? Yes. Yes. I offered to have a baby for them. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? If it's something that I could do for them, why not? I mean, I could give them the greatest gift of all, the gift of life. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's gross. Oh, I think he's cute. Oh, Will you guys grow up? You don't sleep with him. You get artificially inseminated. <laughs> ah, oh. but I mean, what's the point? <laughs> Isn't that something they do with cows? <laughs> A bunch of sick I mean, you try and do something nice for someone. How could you give up your baby like that? I couldn't. Yeah. To my sister and brother? No, I don't think you could either. Of course I could. No. Besides, it wouldn't really be my baby. I'd just be carrying it for them. Uh-huh. I could. I don't want another kid. God forbid. Mommy, Ryan won't let me play an escape board. She doesn't even use it right. Well, why don't you teach her how to use it? She's going to get hurt, Mom. Come on. If you teach her how to use it, then she'll be the best kid on the block. Is that what you're scared of? But, Mom... Hmm. Okay. Tuesday, if you get hurt, I will kill you. Mm. Oh, gotten too old to be hugged by your poor old mom? Come on, Corky. You be lead dog. Come on. You're just going to give another one away to Beverly and Jimmy. It's not going to happen anyway. They said no. I still think he's cute. Oh! And I still think it's a good idea. Are you out of your mind? It's the greatest gift you could give someone. Well, why do you have to be the one to give it to them? Because some couple is suffering out there, like Beverly and Jimmy, and I could help them. And who knows, maybe God would look down and see what I was doing and bless Beverly with a baby. Oh, God, Mary, you're always going off and doing something for somebody else. What about us? How about us for those nine months? What would you tell Ryan on Tuesday? We would tell them the truth, that I was being a surrogate mother. That I was carrying a baby for someone else and it wasn't really ours. That I was helping an unfortunate couple like Bev and Jim. And the $10,000. You know we could use the 10000 Yeah, sure we could. Well? Well, what about me? What do you mean? For those nine months. Honey. I had it really easy with Ryan and Tuesday. I have easy pregnancies, remember? Honey, look, I never got a full-time job so I could stay home with the kids, but the kids aren't here much. And this is something I know I could do and do well. Believe me. Please. Mm. Okay. These tests should be back in about three days. The infertility center will have the results. Well, what do you think? Do you think I'm surrogate material? Well, for having had two children, I think you're in great shape. Shouldn't be any problem. Great. Doctor, you know, I didn't just see some ad in the paper and think, oh, what a scream it would be to have a kid for some couple. This is something I've thought about for a long, long time. Like my husband said, I mean, I'm always doing things for someone else, so... I mean, I'm not crazy. <laughs> You're not crazy. <laughs> Mary Beth, it's been very nice meeting with you. Thank you. Do I pack? I'm not the one who makes that judgment. But do you have an opinion? You really want this, don't you? Yes, I, I do, and they really want me. I sent in my application on Friday, and Monday they called me and told me that this couple, Cameron and Alice, want me. I mean, I didn't even know that mail travel that fast. <laughs> Well, let's just say summer is coming, but I wouldn't be buying bikinis if I were you. All right, Wednesday, 9.15. See you then.
Well? They love me. <laughs> you prime be funny. Great A. Oh! <laughs> Mrs. Whitehead is sincere in her plan to become a surrogate and has thought extensively about it. However, I do have some concern over the tendency to deny feelings. And I think it would be important to explore with her in, in somewhat more depth whether she will be able to relinquish the child in the end. One wonders about her underlying needs to have a child at home. Except for these reservations, Mrs. Whitehead is recommended as an appropriate candidate for becoming a surrogate volunteer. You seem discouraged. Oh, I'm beginning to feel like a failure. It never took me this long before. It must be the artificial inseminations. I get pregnant with Ryan and Tuesday without even trying. That was ten years ago, honey. 